Welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me here today with the next part of the rule quest. So this is the second to last of the rule quest for range, and it's going to be a singular gift. Regrettably, there have been no sightings of the blasphemy since our first encounter at Shoal Rock. As Tansul surmise, it seems to fear confrontation. We, for our part, have tried to make good use of this intervening calm. Even now, Lord Hien and Gosetsu discuss how we might prevent other villagers from turning. If you would wait here a moment, he would no doubt wish to hear your thoughts on the matter. Claire, so glad you could come. As Yugiri no doubt explained it, the blasphemy continues to elude us, and so we've turned our attention to other matters we can and should address. After long discussions and much deliberation, we believe we have found a means to ally the growing Malesi of our people. If you would, Gosetsu. The idea came to us after considering young Tombo's remarks about his father, whose body was never found and returned to Doma. Others no doubt share in his melancholy, unable to bury and mourn their loved ones, as is their right. Put simply, they cannot make peace with their loss. Their anguish, if left to linger, may consume them as well. And we might provide the people of Doma with comfort and closure. We will hold a national funeral at Swallow's Compass. Those who choose to attend will be asked to present personal effects of the deceased they wish to be enshrined there. Spirits reside in all things, be they living or inanimate, and though we may die, a part of us lives on in the items we cherish most in life. Therefore, in lieu of remains, these belongings will be afforded a place in the royal mausoleum, that the spirits of those lost to us may find their way home to Doma, and at last know peace. The announcement has already been made, and a great many people are now engaged in the difficult task of deciding which keepsake will serve as their offering. It is not a decision to be made lightly, but I suspect that they will have made up their minds by the time we go to collect their chosen tokens. I also hope to learn more about the departed from those willing to speak with me, for my benefits and for theirs. To break free of their sorrow, they must seek joy in the moments and the love they shared with the departed, and I will help them find it. Might the Liberator of Doma be willing to favor the people with her presence as well? I doubt not that they will appreciate the gesture. Good. Yugiri, I leave the people of Asari to you. Gosetsu, might I ask you to... Apologies, my lord, but there is a small but most urgent matter I must first attend to. <laughs> Very well. I shall not pry. Now, Claire, let us go and pay a visit to the good people of Namai. wonder what's with Gosetsu. I have a feeling he's going to try to get something as well. Oh, wait. Okay, so I have one or two ideas. Like, he's going to collect a keepsake from... Um, he lost his daughter and his wife about 25 years ago when the whole occupation began, so maybe he's going to go get something for them. Or maybe even something for Suyu. Though I don't think Suyu really had anything left behind. Well, maybe the mirror. I don't know. But that would be so cute! I really think so. Right then, before I begin, I would remind you that you need only listen to the tales of their loved ones. As overseer of the ceremony, I see it as my duty to deliver their effects personally. Because of this, it is of the utmost importance that we keep clear of any beasts that may damage our cargo. It goes without saying how important it is that their offerings are delivered in pristine condition, and I will be no good to you in the fight while he heavily encumbered. If stealth or flight are not options, I must ask that you fight for us both, but we needn't worry unless the occasion arrives. For now, let us be off. Oh, he is now accompanying us! Oh, I like this! <laughs> I know I say that every time, but pray the ceremony helps them to find the closure they so rightfully deserve. 
Uh, I never get tired of it. I just love it that they're following us around. All right, let's look around here. Grieving Elder. I must thank you again, Lorkian, for this honor. My son would have been overjoyed to know that his katana would be enshrined at the Swallow's Compass. Nay, the honor is mine. I'm sure your son was a fine warrior. Aye, and so was I, once upon a time. A samurai, as it happens, in service to your father when the Empire first invaded our lands. Though we were defeated, our spirits broken, my son, Motoso, was never one to lose hope. He was determined to follow in my footsteps, gave us everything to honing his skill with the blade. When I watched him train, I felt the pride I thought I'd forsaken swell in my breast, and I knew he would restore our family to its former glory. Alas. He could have fled, perhaps started life anew as a vagabond of some sort. But he bore the burden and fought for Gollumal, for fear of what the Imperials might do if he did not. Tis plain he was a loving son and a warrior true. I will care for his blade as if it were mine own, and see given the honor and respect due a samurai of Doma. Aww. Samurai of Doma. Matosu would be so happy. These are going to depress me, aren't they? My husband, my dear Swedes, Maroya, never returned from Galamo. But perhaps now his soul might know peace. Please take his painting brush to the Swallow's Compass. I shall handle it with the utmost care. Might we trouble you to tell us more about your husband? My Roya was a kind and gentle soul. There was nothing he loved more in this world than to create. That brush never left his side, not even when he tended to the fields. Any spare moment was dedicated to his craft, and he produced the most wonderful vicias of Yangtzea. It was his dream to take us to Kugani, where he would become a famous artist, until he was conscripted. In the early days, he would send drawings of the places they took him, though I know not how. But more time began to pass between each arrival, and then they stopped coming altogether. I know not in what far-flung land he died, but I pray it was as beautiful as his works. He sounds like quite a man, to hold fast to his art even when forced to endure such hardship. His soul will find peace, of that I have no doubt. That's sweet. Aww. That was my Rora's favorite brush. Please do take good care of it. So the last person... Oh, Tonbo! I realize it's quite large, but I wanted to offer this on behalf of my brother and our father, Suzu Siro. If you are willing, I would very much like to hear more about them both. My father, he he was a carpenter. He was a good man, if a bit stubborn. Always thinking about his work. The only time he ever seemed to enjoy himself was when he had a cup of sake in his hand. And when my brother came of age, he took up the trade as well. It brought them closer. I could see them laughing over drinks together, or listening in silence to the crickets singing under the moonlight. I wanted to join them one day. 
This was their favorite sake. I thought they might miss it. I'm sure it will taste all the sweeter having come from you. I realize no one can ever replace your brother or father, but if you will allow, I would be honored to share drinks with you in their stead. When you are of age, of course. This should be everything. Would you join me for a short reprieve before we journey back? These are such wholesome little quests. Thinking about my brother and father finding peace at the Swallow's Compass is comforting. Like a weight has been lifted from my heart. So is he just gonna live all by himself? I mean, he doesn't have any other family, but... It's gonna be rough. They put on brave faces, but the people of Namai are still wracked with grief. It is the same at every village I visited in recent days. It is only now that I am struck by the contradictory nature of my goals. Having joined the Eastern Alliance and taken steps to revitalize the Enclave, I believe Doma was at last on the path to peace and prosperity. I still do, yet by focusing so keenly on the future, I have neglected the past that yet haunts my people. Even if they do not give in to despair and become beasts that plague our lands like poor Tombo's brother, how are we to truly move forward if we are constantly looking back? Aww. Is there not someone for whom you yourself still greet? Me? Oh, all things considered, I suppose it was only a matter of time before the subject was broached. Ha! She cuts to the heart of the matter, and the young lord. For the best, I should think, for he cannot lead by example if he has not yet made peace with his own past. Ah, there he is. A thousand apologies, my lord. I was passing through, tending to the matters of which I spoke earlier when I chance to hear familiar voices in the distance. If I may be so bold, the people of Doma, one and all, understand the source of your pain. To lose your father in the turmoil of a failed rebellion, his staggering duty to the throne thrust upon you. Aye, how could you even begin to mourn when first you had to lead? It would behoove you to take part in the funeral rites, my lord. Take this time to make peace with your past, while it is still yours to spend. Though unlikely, if not impossible, were you to become a monster as well, Doma would surely be lost. I thank you for your counsel, Gosetsu. But if I may ask, why is it that you keep your blade at the ready? I thought this personal matter of yours to be naught but a trifle. Or am I mistaken? Oh, well, I... I find the katana a superior tool for peeling persimmons. Speaking of which, I do believe my stomach begs for substance, if you will excuse me. Yeah, nice excuse, buddy. Training. To help slay the blasphemy, no doubt. Ah, fitting that he should offer me counsel, yet refuse to heed it in kind. He is not the warrior he once was, but he is wise, our obstinate friend. If I'm to be perfectly honest, it frightens me to recall it, the moment it all came crashing down. We take Endoma Castle. Victory was ours, but then we looked out and saw the banners of the 12th Legion marching towards us. The Crown Prince at its fore. 
No sooner had Gosetsu and I escaped than we had received word that Zenos had slain my father. I remember how the fight went out of Gosetsu in an instant, how he wept for his lord, while I felt the weight of the profound duty bear down upon my shoulders, crushing, suffocating, the heat of my own breath, the chill of my clammy palms. But duty demanded I master my emotions, when all those around me, Gosetsu included, were consumed by anger and a thirst for vengeance, I had to be in control. Under my orders, we dispersed and fled to fight another day. To this day, I have not stopped to reflect on my father's death. How could I, devoted as I am to finding Doma's way forward? But now I must, and so, having taken you into my confidence, would you see this through with me to journey's end? Like I would say no. The keepsake I would offer up for the funeral is hidden in a place not easily reached. We'll have to fly there, I'm afraid. We will have to fly there, I'm afraid, but worry not. My Yule will ferry us. Just a moment. Well, I have a Yule too. The place we seek is Plum Spring in the mountains. Shall we? Yes, let's go! I know where it is, actually. <laughs> I know exactly where Plum Springs is. Oh! This is so nice. as we have here with all these pretty cherry blossom trees. Or plum blossom, whatever. <laughs> parents would bring me here for Anami as a child. Its beauty and serenity was such that I could forget the realities of the occupation. Indeed, some of my fondest memories of family are here, which is precisely why I chose this place to conceal my singular gift my father bequeathed to me as a child. What is a... Oh! Charming, is it not? The great allspice Kiltayan Dashin, said to reside somewhere along the Daryu chain. In those days, anyone and everyone knew the tales of his prowess. Reckless boy that I was, I once even tried to seek him out, hoping he might help us. I buried him here shortly after my coming of age ceremony. It seemed a fitting place to part seemed a fitting place to both part with my childhood and offer a final goodbye to my mother. More a keepsake of mine than his, to be sure, but he was never a man of worldly possessions. Still, I suspect he would allow himself a rare smile if he were to see it again after all these years. And that is precisely how I wish to bid him farewell, with a smile. Uh, it should go without saying, I would prefer it not become known that I kept this doll here. Wouldn't want the children to grow jealous now, would we? And with that, I believe it is our time. And with that, I believe it is time we return to the Enclave. Oh, You know, we actually fought against the Monkey King. Back when we ran through the Swallow's Compass. So that's a really nice reference there. And... 
Yeah, he did seek out the Monkey King before for help, and that's how he got that scar, because he went into the Swallow's Compass and Yugiri followed him, and so he got hurt trying to protect her from the guards. The two of you were away for quite some time. Is everything all right? There are yet more villages to visit and offerings to collect, but preparations are proceeding apace. Soon the people have one less cause to be tempted down the path of despair. Of course, there still remains the problem of the blasphemy. The former conscripts will remain at the Kirakan until it has been dealt with. We will slay the beast in due time, but before that, I would be honored if you were present for the funeral rites. Pray speak with Yugiri when next you visit the Enclave, and she will tell you more of the proceedings. Oh, That's gonna be so sad, but so sweet. Oh, they're so wholesome. I love these quests. So yes, we have one left late to rest, but we're going to have to wait a little bit longer until she's up to level 90. But until next time, everyone, thank you for joining me, and I really am looking forward to what comes for the final quest. So until then, take care.